So, what is it about this? Well, we have interior, right? We have exterior. And so we're going to start talking about some relationships. Okay? And they're all relationships are binding to this transversal. Okay? Okay? So depending on where these angles are with relationship to the transversal and whether they're interior or exterior depends on what we're going to call them. Okay? So let's start with exterior, right? A thing called alternate exterior angles. Okay? Alternate exterior angles are angles that are exterior and they alternate on either side of the transversal. Okay, so let's look at 7. 7 is an exterior angle, correct? So what's another exterior angle that alternates on the other side of the transversal? 6. Six. Very good. Okay, so alternate and they're both exterior. Does that make sense? So they, they are alternate exterior angles imply things like angle 7 and angle 6. Cool. All right. Is there another one? Yeah, good. So you notice that there's 5 and 8, right? They are also exterior, and they're on either side of the transversal. So or, right, that big symbol, the big V, or angle 5 and angle 8, okay? We need one more thing to make this a conditional statement. What do I need to make this a conditional statement? Right now, notice I used the word implies, right? In symbolic logic, implies looks like this. Okay, we don't use implies in here, I usually do, but I stopped last year when I started teaching geometry, because in geometry we use then, and then is just another word for implies, right? So we stopped using implies and we started using then, but when we use then, isn't there something that goes with then and make it a conditional statement in the last chapter? What word is that? If. Alright, so I need that word. And once I use that word, if, then, now I have a conditional statement, right? Is that true? I hope so, right? Because I'm telling you it is. Now, is it true? Is the converse true? Does it go both ways? In other words, if I have angle 7 and 6, is that an alternate exterior angle? Is 7 and 6 alternate exterior? Yeah. So, it does go both ways, right? And this is where that whole biconditional statement is coming from. All of your postulates, all of your theorems, all of your laws are going to be biconditional. Okay? So, we can write less. We don't have to write all the converse, contrapositives, all that stuff. Because we know it goes both ways. Okay? So know that. Because that's how they're going to get you on those proofs. Right? you got to be able to go both ways. Alright, what else do we got? We got, oh, well that takes care of the exterior, alternate exterior angles. Uh, we got another alternate, right? If 
You have an alternate, what, what would be another one? What do you think? If you have an exterior, you must have an interior, right? So alternate interior angles, right, are biconditional to what angles? So give me two angles that are alternate but also interior. One and four. Good. So angles one and angle four. Okay. Or is there another one? Yeah, not eight and five, that's exterior. Two, three, good. Two, three, that's interior. Angle two and angle three. Notice how they're inside. Is this making sense? Right? So far, so good. There's a lot more coming. Okay? Let's use some different colors. Let's use... Well, we can use the same colors, but we'll make another uh, set. Alright, so we have the same thing. Okay? And we're cut by the transversal. Okay? In the same time, I'm not going to write exterior, interior, exterior. We know this is exterior, exterior, interior, right? Okay? So, we're going to have the same number set. It's the same thing. Okay? But now, we need to talk about same side. Same side. Okay? So, so let's go with red again. Or purple. Let's go with purple. If we have same, oops, same side exterior, angles. What does that mean? Well, that means they're on the same side of the transversals, yet they're both exterior. Okay? They're both exterior. So which ones are on the same side yet exterior? Seven and five. Seven and five. I'll go with that. So I was thinking eight and six, but that's okay. You can't read my mind. You're still correct, right? So, 7 and 5 are both exterior. They're on the same side. Can anyone think of two more? Matt. Same side, but they're exterior. 8 and 6. 8 and 6. Okay. Angle 8. And angle six. Is this making sense for some of us? Right? Cool. So then maybe this will make sense. I'm praying. We'll see. Uh, Pico. We got uh, SS meaning same side, right? Because I'm lazy. I'm not going to write the words. I'm just lazy. So, but we're going to go with interior this time interior angles. So can you give me two inside angles that are on the same side? Jordan? Two and four. Two and four, good. I was thinking one and three, but again, can't read my mind, right? So, Two and four work because they're interior and they're on the same side of the transversal. Good. Angle two and angle four. Kiko, can you give me two now? 
A little easier? One and three. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. So that's that black. So yeah, one and three. So far, so good. All right, those are, actually those are the hard ones, right? But not really. There's one hard one that's different than all the rest, right? Um, so, and it takes up a lot. It takes up a lot. It's all crazy, okay? Um, so, best way to do this, I guess, is to do another one of these, right? Except this time I'm going to erase these, right? Let's just erase all the work that we did, all this pretty work, you know. And you guys just make another one. You guys can just make another one on the graph if you like. Don't erase it because that's telling me what's going on, right? But now we'll go on and we'll do another one. And this one is going to do with corresponding angles, okay? If I have corresponding angles... What happens? Okay. So let's talk about a corresponding angle. Corresponding corresponds to the same side of the transversal, but they are not adjacent. Okay? So there are two non-adjacent angles. Remember this from chapter one, right? Two non-adjacent angles that are on the same side of the uh, transversal, but one is going to be interior and the other is going to be exterior. There's a lot there, right? That's a lot to be said. This, this is the hardest one for students to remember. Okay, corresponding angles. So one's going to be interior, one's going to be exterior. Okay? So let's just, let's pick an exterior angle first of all. Just any one you want. Seven. Okay, that's what I was thinking. You are starting to read my mind. So, seven. Alright, now, I need one that's on the same side. Not adjacent, but interior. Very good. So four was on the opposite side. That was an alternate. Alternate, right? So same side meaning, same side, and then non-adjacent. So that means it can't be this. It has to be interior, so it can only be one of these two. So it has to be three. Okay, so one and three. So angle one and angle three. Seven. Or, which one? Seven and three. Oh. Thank you, sorry. Seven and three. Like I said, seven and three. Don't rewind it. I said seven. So seven and three are corresponding exterior, interior, safe side, non-adjacent. Okay? Um, can you give me another one? Because there's going to be a lot. So somebody else, someone different, give me another corresponding. Eight and four. Perfect. Eight and four, okay? So angle eight and angle four. Or someone different, give me another one. Two and six, nice. Two and six. Angle two and angle six. Um, and then another one, I think. Yeah, one more. Someone different, one more. One and five. Okay, one, oh man, I ran out of space, angle one, and angle five, okay, good, you think that'd be enough, right, one more thing we got to cover, one more, and then, and then we'll done for the day, okay, vertical angles, so I'm going to get rid of this, and I'll talk about, so you got to make one more of these, one more of these circles, or of these lines, one more set of these lines, okay? We're going to talk about vertical angles. Angles are vertical, 
So, if I have vertical angles, then what? Which ones are vertical? We have to know what vertical is, right? Vertical angles are angles opposite to each other. Okay? They're on the opposite sides. We gotta know what opposite means though, right? So when we're talking about opposites, we're talking about this side and this side, right? Or this side and this side, okay? So vertical meaning seven and two, very good. Vertical meaning seven and two, okay? Or eight and one. Or four and five. Or three and six. Okay, 